what's up guys? Welcome back. So, today's video, I wanted to show how we've been taming our Noglins. Because these little bastards are kind of game changers, man, with some of the things they can do. Being that they can take over enemy players, walk them right to their generator and turn it off. Or the fact that they insta-kill anything when they detach from it. These guys are OP. And there's already a bunch of videos out there on how to tame them, but I feel like some of them, maybe at least the ones that I watched, we're missing a couple points that I found to be very helpful to know. Because we did have a bit of trouble at the start. They just wouldn't reattach to the second dino after hitting the first one. And its efficiency would go way down. Or they would just try and run away instead of aggroing under your tames. So here's a few pointers on how to get a smooth Noglin tame every time. So before we get stuck in, if you could take a second to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out a whole lot. And let's get into it. All right, so this is what we're gonna do here. We have high level void worms. Uh, we found that if they were bred void worms, for some reason, it just wasn't as effective and they would get less per void worm. So we used our 224 wild tame void worm and we cloned it seven times and the clones uh, work just as good as the original wild tame for some reason as well. Don't ask me why. So usually it only needs six, but sometimes it will glitch out and you'll need a seventh void worm. And you're going to want to have found your Noglin first. And you do this by turning on your tech helmet and flying up and down the Rockwell side trench area. And you'll find them there. Then we are going to cryosick the void worms. Reason for this being, uh, once the Noglin will latch onto it, it won't start flying all over the place because they'll be cryosick. The location on where you tame them is also quite important. We find that these tunnels here on the Rockwell side, they're, they're perfect for it. If you use gates or any type of structure to kind of trap them, the Noglin can sometimes aggro onto the structure instead of the dino, and that can mess up the tame. Also, just any other rocks, wild dinos, anything really can distract these little guys and make taming them more difficult. So find an open place where nothing is going to bother you, and you can throw out your void worms. So as you can see, we have a 150 Noglin here. I've got my all my Void Worms on one side, and the one, the one I'm going to start with underneath it. And you just drop it on it. There it goes. It's grabbed it. You notice it's not flying all over the place because it is cryosick. So I'm just going to pick it up for when it hops off. I'll be able to move this Void Worm out of the way and bring in a fresh one. You're going to want to uh, turn your taming tracker on so you can find it. They are quite hard to see without. So you can see it got that 20%. Should hop off in a second. There it goes. Hopped off. It's on the ground there. We'll just move this void room over here for now. Let's go get him a fresh one. You will do. Come on over. Drop it on the Noglin. I should probably move this one further away. It won't. See? I got it already. It won't um, latch on to the same one twice. So just for the sake of making it easier and less confusing, maybe put the ones it's already used over in a different pile. So let's see here. We got it. It's almost 40%. 40%, there we go. There, it's hopped off. Move this guy out of the way. Get another freshie for it. Sometimes, if it's not aggroing, uh, the, what you're going to need to do is hop off your skiff and get it to aggro onto you, and then it'll try and jump at you and just do it, like guide it towards your void worm, and it'll reattach to your void worm. But as you can see, this this is going super smooth. This it's honestly like this every time now that we've found this method here. 
And it's topped off. We'll just keep doing this. Switch it out again. Nice tasty void worm to snack on. Munch on some brains. Ah, okay, you see, like right now, it's not aggroed onto it. See my tribe mate here? Just ran, aggroed to him, and there we go. Aggroes onto the void worm. Easy. So it'll get 20% per void worm. Hopped off. The old switcheroo. Oh, and now the, uh, <laughs> they're not cryostic anymore. So it is going to fly, but to prevent that, honestly, you just grab it with the skiff. Void worm doesn't want to aggro again. There it goes. You're going to want to be careful with the skiff and the aggro void worms because they can actually take out your skiff pretty fast. So you just want to grab it as soon as you can. Everybody, there we go, we got it. Void worms are like gigas. They they really don't stay cryostic for very long at all. Ah, see, so this is what I mean by sometimes you'll need a seventh void worm and it'll glitch out. You can see that it says it's a hundred percent tamed, but it hasn't tamed up yet. So this is why we bring an extra void worm and it'll just latch on and it should insta-tame. Alright, so this is the last one. Should insta-tame as soon as it latches. Yep, there we go. Name your Noglin. Perfect, so that's it. That's the, that's how we do it. To reset it, you just cry out your void worms and throw them out again. You can tame up I don't know, a void worm every 10 minutes, sorry, a noglin every 10 minutes this way. 209, see, I don't know, it's, they, when they need the seventh void worm, it seems sometimes they lose a tiny bit of their effectiveness. Sometimes they come out 224, sometimes they come out a little bit less. I don't really know what to say about that, I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, so that's how we've been taming our noglins, that's how we have a cryo fridge full. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope everybody's doing well. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.